Hey guys, me again. I'm in the car this time. Sorry it's been a while. This is just a quick video to let you know. First off, I don't have a job. Not anymore. So I've decided to try to make this channel my job. And I hope you guys are cool with that, which means that from now on, I'm going to try to put up a video a week. So look forward to more haunted dolls. Look forward to more different uh, ghost box. Look forward to more my taking you actually look forward to my start taking you into antique shops and look at haunted pictures and things and looking for haunted objects and um, look forward to some of the ghost photography that we've taken out in cemeteries maybe some of the cemetery videos that we've done at night and gotten some of the ghost stuff at night um, maybe even some of the weird channeling and things like that and but really some of the cool ectoplasm photos that I'll put a couple of them at the end of this video also, I want to get the subscribers up because I really want to make this channel something special. Um, now that we have time to really, well, now that I have time to really do this, and I really want to get this going because I think we have a lot of cool things that we could do together. So since I want to do things together with you guys, if I get 200 subscribers, which that is not much to get, I mean, we're already like close to 80. I think we're like 79 today that I'm doing this. If we can get 200 subscribers, I'm gonna open a PO box and you guys can send me things that you think are haunted. And I will work with those things either on ghost boxes with um, EM meters, with uh, divining rods, anything you guys wanna do or with all of them. I mean, we could go through everything. And if you want the objects back, you know, just send me the postage and maybe a, a shipping label, um, and I'll just put them back in the box, put the posters and shipping label back on and send it back to you. If you think it's really spooky, you can't deal with it, I'll keep it. I'll, um, you know, hang on to it. Um, if you want something taken out of it, we'll do our best to clear it and send it back to you. Definitely we'll put a video on of it. In the next couple of days, I'm gonna set up some cameras and videotape some of the haunted dolls, see if we can get some movement on them. I have a video I'm gonna put up at the end of this introduction of, uh, sorry about all the uhs, of a 1947 Shirley Temple doll that winks. And the reason why I got her was I was walking through a old um, antique shop and I was looking through some looking through some haunted dolls because I'm always looking for haunted dolls. And I just heard this voice that said, look at me. And I turned and the doll just winked at me like that. And I was like, oh, you're coming home with me, sweetheart. So let's get at it and tell me what you think. Leave, leave something in the comments. Remember, in the comments, only leave things. I only want things from people who are going to leave comments that are worthwhile to you know I mean no more crappy comments they'll get deleted sooner or later I'm really not interested in people who are just gonna you know try to make trouble so let's be positive let's be kind to each other um let's get going with some of the stuff thanks quick FYI before we get started I've edited out some of the spots where I said um a lot and you'll hear the birds screeching, but in future you won't because I'm going to find a quiet spot for these videos. This is Shirley to Oh, she just did it even before I had a chance to, to tell you much about it. That's the Shirley Temple doll. She, when she opens her eyes. You saw her. She just did it. The doll was safe and stable in her display case. Any movement you see is the movement of my iPhone when I was filming her. I was getting ready to set up an overnight camera so that I could catch her opening or closing her eye during the night. And I was really surprised to see it happen so quickly. This is Shirley This is Shirley Ta Oh, she just did it even before I had a chance. This is Shirley Ta the following sequence you're going to see is all shots of ectoplasm. All these shots were taken by the NEPRS, the Northeastern Paranormal Research Society. Um, the Northeastern, Para Northeastern Paranormal Research Society has been around since, I think they took their first case in, two, um, in 1977. That's how long they've been around. These ecto shots are really cool. Um, 
anyway, I wanted to, you to know about them. I'll probably do a voiceover on some of them. And the NEPRS.org, NEPRS.com do have a website. It's up and down because they've had server troubles. So um, if you can get onto it, you'll see some of these there. Um, I want you to really look at them and enjoy them. Some of them are really, really cool. Um, I put a couple on where you can actually see skeletons in, in it. One of them, the very last one I put up, you can actually take your time and look at it. Pause the video if you need to, because you actually see a woman carrying a baby. It's not pareidolia. It really, you can see the skull, you can see the baby, you can see the spinal cord, you can see the ribs. It's way too much to be pareidolia. I mean, I mean, you can't just look at this and say, oh, that kind of looks like, I mean, it is so enjoy the rest of this video at the very end i have a photograph taken at vale's end um, for the locals and the people who know about vale's end is um something that may be demon energy um and another thing is a daytime orb i know people say they don't exist we have a lot of photos of daytime orbs i just put one out there for you guys to take a look at it um enjoy this is the matthew thornton family plot. It's built next to the notoriously haunted Matthew Thornton house, which is currently a restaurant. The house this woman lived in was seriously haunted and giving her a lot of trouble. Do you see a child or a girl's face on the left-hand side? Is this ectoplasm someone rising from a grave? Take a good look at this one. Pause the video if you have to. Is that a mother carrying a child? One night during an investigation at Vale's End, this red light started shooting around us and they went in and out of the trees. It flew up into the air, shot down into the ground, and disappeared. The feeling was absolutely horrible. So there you have it. I have a schedule where I'm going to try to get one up every weekend. I'm actually going to try to get one up every Friday. And Saturday the latest. This one's going up on Sunday, I know. But I am going to try to shoot for Friday from now on. We're going to do, I don't know, one of the things that is unusual. And like I said, if I can get 2,000 subscribers, I'll start taking your stuff, doing what I can with it. Look forward to next week because next week we're going to, if I can get my divining rods, we'll do that. Next week we'll go back to spirit box stuff. And um, that's another thing. If we get 2,000, if 2,000, if we get 200 viewers, I can also, I'll also start seeing if I can contact your loved ones uh, in this environment here. And if we get uh, 400 viewers, I'll use the spirit box of your choice and I'll actually start getting new equipment if you want. So it'll be a deal that way. Okay? See you soon. Bye. Hope you like the stuff that's up there today. And remember, you know, this is a channel for people who like this stuff.